Illinois lawmakers are proposing a new approach to putting an end to domestic violence. They're looking to the beauty profession to help spot ugly situations at home. News 10's Lindsay Yates explains how, and she speaks to a Wabash Valley stylist who's weighing in. There's something about a hairdresser's chair that creates a bond unlike any other. Honestly, my clients, I feel like, are my family. Jocelyn Hain is a stylist. In her two years at Vivid Salon and Spa, she's heard it all. It gets pretty deep sometimes. I feel like I could tell you pretty much everything about everyone that sits down in my chair. Working through the tangles in life, Jocelyn does her best to offer advice. Of course, we're here to make them feel beautiful and look beautiful, but I think it goes deeper than that. It's that kind of openness that has Illinois lawmakers looking at mandatory training aimed at recognizing signs of abuse. Even especially in like younger children, I feel like it would be it would be nice if we knew the signs to pick up on. Jocelyn is all for the one hour class. It would be required when hairdressers and nail technicians renew their license every two years. It would be the first law of its kind across the country. There's times I go home at night and I'm I worry about the people that left sitting in my chair. We could definitely help people more if we did have that training. To provide women with a new look and a better outlook on life. This is their safe place. They they come here and they tell us. I completely agree. I think it could save lives. In Marshall with photojournalist Marty Ledbetter, Lindsay Yates, News 10. Nationwide, more than 20,000 phone calls are placed to domestic abuse hotlines. It's estimated 50% of domestic violence cases go unreported. If the law passes, stylists would not be blamed for failing to intervene in an abusive situation.